Welcome to the AZ Tech Accelerators webinar. Today's topic is visual search. The host of this webinar will be Chris Amos, the owner of No Boundaries Marketing, whose business is located here at the Tech Accelerator. He will be covering Pinterest Lens, Google Lens, Bing Visual Search, and more. So welcome, Chris. All yours. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah, if I didn't mock you, it wouldn't be fun. So of I course do. I'm going to do that. Anyway, thank you for having us. So yeah. Um, today's course is actually pretty awesome, if you ask me, um, not because I'm biased, because I'm teaching it, but, you know, we as a company have been putting a lot of effort into learning and better understanding this, um, because honestly, it is the future. You know, it's funny because when you look at this, so according, they've done a variety of studies on this, but right now it's projected to be a $40 billion industry by 2025. It is incredible. Right now, I think they, I think the estimates were somewhere, if I remember right, around 14 billion. But I mean, it's just incredible to say the least. So, big picture wise, this is a huge thing. Now, why is it huge? You know, there's a lot of reasons actually. And it's just, it's because as we evolve in, in society, as we evolve as, you know, individuals, you know, we know that dynamic images are honestly, these are, this is what draws us. This is what attracts us. When we build websites, for example, I mean, the last thing I can do is use a photo from, you know, the 1990s that's pixelated and, and you know, that stuff, obviously that just turns people off. They go away. Nothing wrong with them personally, but again, from a website or a visual perspective, they're not exactly what we would really want to portray to consumers. So visual search, I mean, it's there. Um, another example that I give is look at the challenges that Google has right now. They've had so many failed social media attempts out there. They've been largely dominated by Facebook, Instagram, and all these. And why? Well, just, you know, for a variety of reasons. But really, it's the visuals that those platforms prioritize that Google didn't. And so now, look at what Google's done. Google My Business, huge emphasis on posting and visuals and pictures and videos and all that stuff. Um, it's the one captive audience Google has. And so... You know, again, as we evolve, as we grow as a society, again, visual search is going to become the dominant means. So companies that have gotten in on it early are really what who are going to see this. And a lot of people always ask, well, you know what, I'm a small business or I'm a small to medium sized business. How can I compete? I don't have the budget of a big corporate. I can't compete against IKEA. Actually, in this realm, you can. This is just a technology that you apply to the, your e-commerce website that ultimately enables these features. So, you know, it's all technology based. And this is that's why I always tell clients, listen, you know, you got to stop thinking that you're small so you can't compete. Actually, small businesses now can compete. They can compete more effectively than ever. And so, again, that's what we're going to put our emphasis on today. So going through this, let's have a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna share my screen here real quick and I'm gonna show you a couple of things here that I think you're going to be interested in. Two seconds, boop, share. All right, Linda, tell me, can you see my screen? There Sorry, you... I muted myself, yes I can. <laughs> no worries. Very colorful. <laughs> Very colorful, right? Well, hey, welcome to Ikea. So. They are, they were some of the early, early adopters of this, which is why we're gonna share this information with you here. And so when we look at Ikea's website, this is literally a just, I just went on a product set, you know, I just happened to search. And if you notice, see these little dots in here, you'll see them throughout, you know, these are products, this is visual search. So as people look and scan through photos, they say, oh man, I really want that. Boom, they click on that and guess what comes up? Product. And so again, it's not rocket science, it's nothing crazy. But this is how search is evolving. You know, again, you see a dynamic photo, you see product placement in, let's just say, movies, uh, again, a variety of settings. And this is what's going to lead. Now, I'll share with you some technology that's available right now. Um, I have it on my phone. You know, most Google Pixels obviously come with it automatically, but you can actually download this app. This is Google Lens. This already exists. You can literally aim your phone, aim your, you know, phone at anything you can scan it and again if a visual search is enabled if that phone or excuse me that image happens to come up and google lens can identify it great uh great for barcodes great for a variety of things but google will actually search the internet for products um that you're looking for i've used it just playing around a bunch of times and again still in its infancy so i would say let's not be too quick to judge but i will also say pretty awesome so again Google Lens, one of those really quick, easy to use things. 
Um, you'll see it a lot on stuff like this, you know, translate, uh, scan and translate text. You know, again, shopping, Google Shopping is a big one. Obviously, they're always looking to make money. So there you go. You have shopping features. Um, you know, again, I see school, I see, um, actually, we have a, a client that's in education, they own charter schools. And I see kids doing this on a daily basis where they're on their phones and you're like, Jesus, you live on your phones as young, young adults. Well, they do, and they're actually doing work. They're actually being productive with it. So there's really a lot that can be done from visual search. It's not just about, you know, images, products, buying, and things like that. But again, you can see all the many, many, many uses of it. Um, it's pretty awesome. Pinterest, this is another area where Pinterest has managed to stay relevant. So a lot of the times, again, as social media goes, you know, you kind of live or die more or less. You see some new innovations come out, some new platforms that really want to be kind of top of market. And then they die by the wayside. They just don't get the traction because, again, you got these big fish in the pond and they got huge followings. And so it's, it is, it's really tough to compete in that arena. But big picture wise, when we look at this, Pinterest has managed to stay relevant by, by really adapting technology to fit their target audience and it goes so again we all know what pinterest is used for it's huge in imagery and you know how to's and all sorts of stuff and so now they've really adopted this whole visual search so i'm actually on pinterest's news room right here and you can see this is their crazy new fun search tool they actually came out with this in 2015 if you can believe that and so for those who are familiar with pinterest you've probably been using it forever but again, for a lot of people, they have it and they don't even know what it is. And so again, from a visual search perspective, um, this is where it's at. This is so Pinterest has been really, really diligent. Now you're going to start to see and you have started to see uh, Instagram's going to start coming out with stuff. Uh, Snapchat, TikTok, all of these that have, rele have relevance to product placement. Um, you're going to start to really, really, really see that, especially with influencers. This is a huge area where influencers have the ability for millions in untapped revenue. So again, food for thought. Um, but back to kind of some of the uh, updates here that we had. Again, $40 billion industry by 2025. That's just going to be incredible. Um, I think, and again, that's probably understated as, you know, more and more people are adopting technology now. I'm sure that that's probably going to multiply exponentially. But again, why is it important? You know, it's in its infancy. And this is where I always try to really stress to businesses. We really got to be progressive. We really got to stand out as a small business and differentiate ourselves from our competition. Again, if this is something, if you have an e-commerce site and you haven't done this, a simple Google search, whether you have WooCommerce, Shopify, any number of different platforms that are available, Magento, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's just tons of e-commerce platforms out there. All you have to do is a simple phone call to your developer or option number two, just do a simple Google search and say, hey, is my Shopify site you know, visual search compatible? Figure out what the steps are to do that. And again, it's really, really simple. So again, we do a lot of WooCommerce sites and so we're relatively familiar with that. Um, but again, it really depends on the product and how everything works and your key visuals, you know, and again, incorporating that technology in there. I would especially encourage this for our younger, for our businesses that target younger demographics. I mean, I can't stress that enough because those are the ones that are on their phone more often than not. And so because of that, again, you're going to have a much easier opportunity to penetrate that market than you will, let's just say, our seniors, maybe 65 and older. Not to imply it's not relative for them, but it's one of those things that, again, it's going to have a much greater impact on that younger generation. So the Gen Zs, the millennials and stuff like that, you know, that's, again, who's who this is going to do or who this is going to influence. So currently, just some fun stats, currently 21% of Pinterest users you search less when they have the option to do visual search. So again, they have over 600 million visual searches conducted on Pinterest every single month. That's pretty impressive. I mean, again, for most of people haven't even heard of it and that's how often that's being done and that's just Pinterest. So again, that's a pretty awesome statistic there. Um, and again, you're starting to see more and more technology come out, more and more visual, or more and more visual technology or visual search technology come out every single month, really. Um, new players are getting into the game. Um, they're becoming more and more easy to use. Um, again, there's some of them that are rather technical that we've used in the past. And again, they just require a certain expertise. But again, now, now you're starting to see plug and play options. So again, this is just an opportunity for you to get engaged. And even if you're not necessarily ready or can't commit to making that decision to move into that realm now, maybe make it a priority for next year. Plan ahead, learn all that you can about this because that's what's gonna ultimately make you successful. 
So again, Pinterest is the social platform that's really utilizing it now. Be ready for it to come out on a variety of other ones here. Again, as it becomes a more and more, as it more and more monetized, if that makes sense. Um, you're going to want to build it into your web inventories. Again, super simple stuff. Even if you don't necessarily uh, build products on your website or sell products on your website, you can still enable pictures for visual search. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So again, you know, just really think through the, you know, think, think through the every day, if you will, and look for those opportunities to stand out amongst your competition. Um, as more comes out, we'll be posting a couple blogs on this coming up just to really teach businesses how this is going to work and how it's, you know, going again right now. I think this year again, they've seen about 150% increase in searches year over year. Now that's what starts to get the attention of the other platforms. And that's where you're going to start to see um, some changes coming about. So. A couple of them, um, obviously Amazon. I know Amazon has a big one. Uh, there's a company, Style Snap. I think that was another one off the top of my head that just had a couple of big uh, announcements with this. And then, like I said, we, we've already talked about Google and stuff like that, Google Shopping. There's a variety of opportunities there. So um, if you guys have any questions on this, I know this was kind of a short and sweet class and there's really not much to it only because there's really not much to the concept. It's really about the technical aspects, which we can't really do on these type of formats. Uh, but if you do have questions, you are curious about how that works, please give us a call. We can look at your website. We can say, okay, you know what? You have a WooCommerce site. You know, here's what we've done on WooCommerce before. Here's how you would do it on your own. Or obviously, if there's an opportunity to help you, we'd love to help. Um, but again, like we can address your individual circumstances and see what works best for you or how you might adapt this technology to your business. So I'll turn it back over to you, Linda. <laughs> well, today. Thank, you. thank you. Yeah, that was that was really very interesting. But yes, I will reaffirm that items like this does cater to people younger, um, because I am in that senior citizen group that um, I don't do a lot of e-commerce myself. Uh, I get to the point of saying I don't understand how people can buy a sofa online. I gotta sit in it. Okay. <laughs> You know, and so I could see why something like this would trend more towards the younger demographic group because they are on their phones a lot and they will do a lot more e commerce, I think, more than senior citizens, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know? and, and it's one of those things, you know, believe it or not, we've seen that senior demographic, let's just say even 55 and older, 45 and older. I mean, you're starting to see exponential growth in that. And, you know, thank COVID. I mean, now that we've all been locked down, obviously. You know, more and more people, they're jumping on the you know bandwagon. They're learning their technology. There's still, I think, a long way to go to perfect and, you know, people to get really efficient at using it. Um, most sure. people, again, that even have a Google Pixel, they don't even know that they have Google Lens on there, nor yeah. know how to use it. But it's there. And, you know, Apple has its own technology. So there's a lot of these things that already exist. It's just in its infancy. And so as, you know, we become, as we adopt technology more and more, that's where we're going to start to see the real benefit from it. Now, for something like that Google Lens and that, when you put that on your cell phone, mm -hmm. you have to have the most up-to-date cell phone. Like mine's like three years old. Would that still be able to handle that or? Yeah. Eh? Nope, as long as it has a camera on it. Um, I'm sure yeah. there's some technology requirements that um, would, it wouldn't let you download or, but I'm sure as long as it's up-to-date software-wise, which sure. a three-year-old phone would be, yeah. Right. I mean, again, I have a two-year-old Google Pixel. So, I mean, Google Pixel 3, believe it or not, it's sad. That's like two years old now, <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> but again, even that, you know, that came with it. Granted, it is Google. I get that. But uh, my wife, she has a, on her iPhone, uh, we have an older iPhone that we use as kind of a backup. And sure. um, it has it on there, too. We've already downloaded it. You know, she loves it because she, she likes going out and about. She uses it to save, you know, for to save items to remember later and stuff. Um, or if it's just a picture of something that she wants to see if she can find online. Uh, we've been across that many, many times at a friend's house or something, and they have something. You don't know. They don't remember where they got it. Boom. Sure. Picture of it. Search for it. So, they're, believe it or not, there are actually a lot of practical uses for it, not just the shopping per se. Yeah, no, I'll ha I'll have to try that. I I'll be curious to see <laughs> how that works for me. But thank you, sir. I really appreciate it as always. You, you are quite care. welcome, ma'am. Always nice to see you. And I look forward to our next class. I think, what are we doing, video? Uh, let's see, October 21st, I have social media basics. Social media again, always a favorite. Always so. something out there. <laughs> 
All righty, hon. Well, I'll see you next uh, week. We'll chat about social. Sounds good. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. You too, hon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.